of uh, Dior, and um, this was the same dimension of of uh, uh, land. And the Chanel, if if I follow the, the rule, you have a building with two recess on a certain height, height and uh, the right to build is limited in area, and the sailing is limited. But when you say there are, you take the area, you, are, you, you, you are, uh, have a, a certain age, and Chanel stop at this age. The first thing is I transform the level. I study and I realize that it was possible to not to be completely on the line of the, the, of the, of the street. It was a certain percentage of transformation that it was possibly to use. It was not uh, necessary to make, to mark the recess line by an horizontal. It was just asked to be present on one point on this line. This is very funny, but it makes finally explain the situation where uh, till this point, I have one point obligatory here, and I, I curved the first part of shells here, another part here is going in a oblique, is following the, the other recess line. Here is a, the maximum of surface of area built. Here is a sailing. In between, I said we will make an enormous room, which would be like a lamp in the night, which would be unlighted, which would be a, a 14 meter high. And uh, yesterday I was there, it's under construction, and I said from there you will be in the middle of the jungle of the tower, it would be extraordinary. And I guess it would be a view on Central Park. And this is true, it, nobody was sure with the tower what, if it would be existing or not. It would, it would have been possible to check very precisely, but it was difficult to be at this height and to make the calculation. But from, from here, you have an extraordinary view on 57th Street and on Central Park on the lake, and this is a, a good thing. And the facade is made of a composition of <coughs> sanded glass, which I made this shape not following the street and sanded glass to avoid the reflection of the IBM tower, which is in front, which is very dark, and uh, I realized that a glass building in front of the IBM would be just the mirror of IBM, very dark and reflecting IBM only. So the building would not have any presence. It's very efficient that with a black, with, with a, not uh, the, the line of the facade, which is not following the parallelism with IBM, with the sanded glass on part of the window are uh, stri striped with sand, sanded lines striped with degradé and only one part is open so that the people can see the street. It makes uh, a pattern which avoids the reflection also. And it makes in uh, low iron glass, transparent, very transparent glass, white glass, so it gives a quality. One thing I'm Sad is uh, the metallic frame which frame it is too white. I'm, uh, I'm very sorry of that. And the reason is, I made uh, we made some tr tr sample in uh, in France at uh, at the, the real scale. At this moment, we were using ceramic fluid on the glass. It's a two la layer of glass, and in phase in phase two. Uh, it is sanded. It's, uh, it was ceramic fluid, and then uh, there was some try in Miami with a contractor which, which is building it, and in Miami it was perfect. The, mono, the, the, the frame was white and the glass were, were looking white and degradé, and then it was a, a, a contest of the partner of Vuitton there, which makes a. <coughs> prosecution with lawyer during one year, and this, this stopped everything. Stopped the construction, we thought everything would be stopped. And when it starts again, the contractor made the proposition 
to transform the ceramic fluid in sanded glass, which is beautiful. Sanded glass has a, a very interesting uh, relationship with the light. And uh, I had two samples, and I said, OK, it's almost the same kind of white. It will be going. And now we didn't think to change the, 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 the framing of metal. It's a very thin framing. It's not the structural glazing like we made in Europe, which has no line of metal. In Manhattan, in the United States, we are obliged to have a, a little frame. The insurance are not the same. And uh, the possibility for an architect, I think, in America or in Manhattan, in, are uh, very much hard to innovate or to change. And uh, my friend like Stephen Hall and Bernard Schumi building there always say me that it's very difficult because they have a, uh, a Bible with all the details which are accepted, acceptable. You know probably very well that. And if you are out of the Bible, it's very expensive. And it was, a, it was the case for the structural glazing. At the beginning, this was silent, uh, uh, a sort of piece of cylinder shape. It came to be so expensive that finally I make it in, in flat. I had two projects at the beginning. Finally, I made it with uh, flat plane. Instead of making a curve with a series of flat glass, I preferred to have a, a big faces. And when it, it has been built, the first glasses, in June, I was a bit disappointed because I realized that in the space, the sanded glass makes a gray, beautiful gray, green gray, but it's not so wide than the ceramic. It takes the light in another way. And then you have a grid of white, which was not in my, in my mind. This is something which indicates that we should have another complete test uh, with this new material. In the, in the <coughs> model on the left, this is what I made to explain to the client. <coughs> the, the pattern has changed since this time. It's, it's a trapeze. I explained that the sanded glass or the ceramic fluid would be very good for the light inside because it makes a refra re refraction of the light. <clears throat> and the light would be coming more from that, like a snow, than for the transparent glass, which would keep the light for IBM, which is completely black. And uh, the ceramic or the sanded kept the light for, from different direction and transform it. It's uh, like an acoustical uh, phenomenon. And then the light, you know this phenomenon, is coming from the upper part of the sky, and not only from the IBM tower. So, it's uh, giving a, a lot of light inside the, the offices. And during all the process, they were very afraid of my sanded glass not to see enough outside. Now they, they are happy. So it's finished for public space and just two images of a little museum for the sculptor Bourdel that I made uh, six years ago in Paris just to have a finishing which would not be a public space, but an inside siren, uh, try to have a siren space just made with cement and light and uh, the bronze of uh, Bordel. But in a way, it's also a public space because it's open to the public. Thank you.